Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I want to discuss an urgent matter in the world of jailbreaking. Apple has released iOS 7.1. Alright, so to start off, I wanted to talk about the firmware, give you guys some information, and also discuss jailbreaking. So today, ensuing an extraordinary long testing period, Apple has released 7.1 to the general public, effectively patching the Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak. Now, in addition to being available for download immediately via iOS's built-in over-the-air OTA update ability, iOS 7.1 can also be downloaded via iTunes. However, and I cannot stress this enough, jailbroken users should avoid the firmware at all costs. Now, as I've outlined previously, and even in the most recent episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, Apple has patched numerous vulnerabilities exploited by the Evasion 7 jailbreak utility in the fifth beta iteration of the firmware and in turn the public release, rendering Evasion 7 useless on newer firmwares and making it impossible for the public to jailbreak 7.1 untethered. Now, there will, however, be a 7.1 jailbreak. I'm going to discuss that later, so let's just continue with this for now. So, as for 7.1, Itself, the firmware includes a number of visual improvements, such as revised icons for the phone messages and FaceTime apps. And beyond the immediately noticeable user interface or UI changes, iOS 7.1 offers CarPlay, a new manual control mode for Siri, and changes to iTunes Radio, the calendar app, and the accessibility portion of the settings app. Now, unfortunately, again, for those who wish to maintain their device's jailbroken state, avoid 7.1 at all costs as the evaders won't release their next untethered jailbreak utility to the public until later this year when Apple eventually pushes out both iOS 8 and their next round of iOS based devices. Now if you're interested in the complete iOS 7 changelog, I'll also have an article down below on my site that details it and has Apple's complete release note summary here. So again, just be sure to check that out. Now as far as jailbreaking beyond 7.0.6 with Evasion 7 is concerned, there will be a tethered jailbreak utility exclusive exclusive to the iPhone 4. Now the reason for that is because the utility will be based off of WinOCM's Open Snow project that utilizes GeoHot's old 2010 LimeRain exploit that again only functions on the iPhone 4. It would work with other devices too such as the original iPad and the fourth generation iPod Touch. However, over time with the release of new firmwares, Apple has phased out those devices. They've stopped supporting them and the last one to be supported in iOS 7 is the iPhone 4. So that's why the upcoming tethered jailbreak will only support the iPhone 4. Of course, I will create a tutorial on that once it's released and streamlined for both OS X and Windows based computers. Now, if you guys are more interested on details in the upcoming tethered iPhone 4 jailbreak, just be sure to watch my previous episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. You can find it by visiting my channel. Now, I also wanted to just go back and discuss iOS 7.1 quickly, give you guys a brief summary. So again, remember that if you update to iOS 7.1, you will not be able to jailbreak until the evaders release their next utility, which again won't be until after Apple pushes out iOS 8 and their next round of iDevices, as the vulnerabilities required to jailbreak are precious and rare, and the evaders simply don't want to burn through them. They want to make them last, and they want them to function on newer devices that are released in the future. So by waiting to release a jailbreak, they're keeping Apple in the dark as to which vulnerabilities they actually have access to. So again, just be sure to avoid 7.1 if you're currently jailbroken. And if you're not and you're on iOS 7.0.6 or an earlier iteration of iOS 7 and you want a jailbreak, just be sure to follow my in-depth untethered jailbreak tutorial. And again, you will be able to find a link to that in an annotation form if you're on the desktop version of YouTube on the screen now. If not though, just be sure to visit my channel and you'll easily be able to find it there. All right, I hope you guys like this video and I hope that you avoid 7.1 at all costs. I know I will receive a ton of questions related to the firmware and jailbreaking past 7.1. So again, the best advice that I can give you guys is to just be cognizant when you're actually plugging your device into your computer and don't randomly click and accept various pop-ups inside of iTunes because chances are good one of them will most likely be a prompt to update and of course if you do you will forfeit your jailbreak. So again if you guys found this video helpful and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. If you guys want to be updated more often such as when I create new videos and release jailbreak updates just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.